In this lesson, we'll build four simple cardboard tools to look up a whole lot of thrilling musical scales. Some of the scales are probably very well known to you, but some are also a lot more rare, thrilling and exotic. The four tools also show you what scales to use when playing a specific chord. So if we stumble upon, for example, the minor 7 chord, then we can look up all the different scales we can use on that specific chord. So with the four simple cardboard tools in hand, you'll be able to discover and explore a huge world of great sounds. Each of the four tools represents a family of seven scales. That means we'll have four times seven different scales. That's 28 different scales in total. In previous lessons, we have become acquainted with similar cardboard tools. But in this lesson, we gather all four tools and we end up seeing the very big picture of how all the scales are ordered and organized. A subscriber named Napfe has redesigned the four tools. So now they look really great and professional, and in many ways they are also simpler and easier to handle. So, a big, big thanks to Napfe. Okay, let's start up with the most basic scales, and then we'll save the more exotic scales for later on. Here we have the first tool. It's two discs that can rotate upon each other. The tool is very easy to build. Below I will paste a link to a PDF with, uh, with the, the two circles. Use some rather thick paper. Print and cut out the two discs. Connect the two discs by the center. You can, for example, use a book screw like this one. I'll paste a link uh, where to buy these below. Now, let's magnify the tool on top of the keyboard. So, now we can better see what's going on. On the lower disc, we see the different scale names. For example, we have the major scale and the natural minor scale. On the upper desk, we have all 12 keys on the piano. This tool represents a family of seven scales called the major modes. It's not because all the scales are in major, it's just because the major scale is a member of the family. And the family is named after that member. By the way, we can also use the name church modes when referring to this family of scales. Now, what we simply do is that we choose a scale on the lower disc. What about starting this lesson with the most well-known of all scales, the major scale? Then we choose a tonality on the upper disc, for example, the keynote F. And we point the F note and the major scale together, like this. Now the F major scale is pointed out by all the other scales on the disc. That's why the seven scales on this circle are related in 
the same family. The scales point out each other. So, the F major scale notes are F, G, A, B flat, C, D, and E. On what chord can we play this major scale? Well, look at the chord inside the brackets. Here we have the major 7 chord. So, if we stumble upon an F major 7 chord, we can use the F major scale as our improvisation material. Let's try this out. Now, this major scale may sound a little too basic and traditional. Maybe we can provide the major 7 chord with a more thrilling and compelling sound. So, is there any other scale we can use on the major 7 chord? Let's take a look at the chords inside the brackets. The minor 7 chord goes with Dorian scale, and minor 7 goes with Phrygian, and yes, here we have the major 7 chord. So, we can play the Lydian scale on top of our chord. Now, we play the F major chord. And therefore, we need to look up the F Lydian scale. So, let's turn the upper disc to the F note. And here we got the F Lydian scale. F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. All the white keys. So, let's play a little solo. This scale sounds very bright and clear, I think. In many cases, the Lydian scale is a great alternative to the major scale, but not always. It depends on what kind of sound we want. Okay, what if we have an F minor 7 chord? What scales can we use? Well, just look for minor 7 inside the brackets. So, we can play, for example, natural minor. Or what about Dorian? Let's locate the F Dorian. And here we got the notes. So, let's play an F Dorian solo on the F minor 7 chord. is almost like a natural minor scale, but with a, with a raised sixth step. Now it's all up to you to explore the other scales on the tune. Choose a chord and a scale that fits. Just play around, have fun, and 
listen to and enjoy the unique qualities of your scale in hand. Okay, let's look at another family of scales. This tool works in the exact same way as the former tool. But now we have seven new scales. Now look, the ascending melodic minor scale is one of them. That's why this family of scales is called the melodic minor modes. So what about looking up this melodic minor scale in F? So here we got the scale. And what chord fits this scale? The minor major 7 chord. Look, if we pick up every second note from the key note of the scale and make a stack of thirds, we actually build up the tonic chord of our scale. Now let's play a little solo. So now we play the F minor major 7 chord in the left hand. And we improvise a solo using the melodic minor scale in the right hand. Let's try to improvise on top of another type of chord. What about the 7 chord? So we look for 7 chords in the brackets. Minor 7, major 7, uh, sharp 5, and yes, here we have a 7 chord. So we can play the Lydian dominant scale on that chord. Now we have the F7 chord in our left hand. So let's locate the scale in F. Let's explore the scale and play a little solo. sound, right? Okay. Let me show you another scale from this melodic minor family. What about this very interesting Lydian augmented scale? In F. Here we got it. And the major 7 sharp 5 chord fits this scale. Let's play a solo. sound we have here. This family of melodic minor modes contains many fantastic sound landscapes. 
Now, look up the scales yourself and explore the different sounds. Okay, let's have a look on the next family. Now the sounds get even more exotic. So, are you ready for this? This family is called the harmonic minor modes. Because we have the harmonic minor scale right here. Let's look up the F harmonic minor scale. And let's play a little solo on the minor major 7 chord. Look, the scale is almost like a natural minor scale. But with a raised 7th step. And we got this thrilling sound. Okay, what about looking up the Phrygian major scale? In F. We can play this scale on the 7 chord. This scale is very funny, because it's very minor-like and dark with its minor 2nd, minor 7th and minor 6th step. But then it surprises with this very clear and bright major 3rd step. sound, major, okay, what about looking up mm, the major sharp 5 scale? In F. And we improvise a solo. Wow, right? This scale is like a major scale. but with an augmented fifth step. So, now I think it should be up to you to explore the rest of all these great scales of the harmonic minor family. Because here comes the fourth and final and ultimate family of scales. The harmonic major modes. These scales are very exotic and rare, but nevertheless also very compelling and thrilling. So we simply have to explore these sounds. This family is called the harmonic major modes because of the harmonic major scale we got right here. Let's look up the F harmonic major scale.
So, let's play the F harmonic major. On top of uh, the F major 7 chord. Wow, right? This scale is almost like the harmonic minor scale. But we have a major third step. That's why the scale is called harmonic major. Okay, let's find another thrilling scale to explore. What if we are playing our left hand chord in minor? The minor major 7 chord. What scale can we use on this chord? Mm, here, minor, minor major 7. The Lydian flat 3 scale. Let's choose our F tonality. And let's improvise music. Well, I can just sit here for hours, exploring not only this family, but all four families, four tools. Actually, this exploration is a lifetime project. Isn't that fantastic? And don't be overwhelmed. Just focus on one scale at a time. And then immerse yourself into the sound. Okay, what is the big picture of all this? Well, these four circular tools actually show us every single scale that contains seven notes. All these scales are created under certain conditions, though. The conditions are 1. The scale must be framed by an octave. 2. The scale contains only half whole and whole and a half steps. 3. Half steps cannot be neighbors. 4. Whole and a half steps cannot be neighbors. 5. Whole steps and whole and a half steps cannot be neighbors. If we comply with these simple rules or assumptions, the result is 28 harmonic and melodic scales classified into four families, represented by the four circular tools. We have them all here. There are no other scales outside this well-defined system that comply with all the rules above. So, here we have a well-ordered, mathematical, and closed system. And this simple system of four families is actually very uh, easy to comprehend, right? Now the hard work is to look up and explore and play all these many modes. But, as I said earlier, this work is actually really fun. And 
don't think that you want to learn them all at once. Just look up a single scale at a time when you need it and immerse yourself into this scale and enjoy the sound you make. Well, that's it. At Patreon or PayPal, you are so much welcome to support my work and make a small voluntary donation. I'm so grateful for all of you who, who have supported me. You make all this real to me. With donations, I'm able to make more free and public music lessons here on YouTube. So, thanks a lot, girls and guys. You can also help me out and translate some of the English subtitles to your preferred language. All my lessons are open for translation. In this way, you will also help a lot of people who don't speak English. Well, thanks a lot for everything. The best and warm regards from Oliver Prey.